Hello lovelies, this is your girl Asia from The Lady and Company, and today we are going to be discussing angels and how to find your own guardian angel. So if all that seems interesting and fun to you, stay tuned. This is going to be a disclaimer. If you think I'm going to be talking about Christian aspects of angels and them being in the Bible, I am not. So if you... If you don't like witchcraft or any of the sort, please leave this leave this video and go somewhere else because this girl talks about witchcraft and using angels in a witchcrafty setting and deal. So, all my Christians that want to talk and be about angels, this is not the video for you. So, please leave. Now, what are angels? There have been debates and stipulations on when actual angel is most of the time in biblical text it really just means messenger sometimes in the bible it'll say my sons referring to god's children as being angels either way they are beings from up above that work in tandem and work with or for god himself or herself whoever you want to gender it as. Now what kind of angel do you need? Some people say that you need or would want to search out your guardian angel. There are some that say you should search out for your moral or your soul's angel. It's almost like a sun moon rising angelic type of classification. Either way you should don't listen to anyone else. Like, you don't even have to listen to me to say, like, oh, you need this type of angel, that type of angel. No. You need to go to which it, whichever angel that you are connected to and with. Sometimes a certain angel might not be your guardian angel, might not be your soul or moral angel, but you have a connection towards that angel. So the kind of angel you need to go with does not matter, but... I believe that it's interesting for you to sort of have a guideline with, hey, this angel was born or this angel is for me because of my birth time and the day I was born. It's interesting to find out, but really you don't need to follow those angels. You need to go with which angel gravitates towards you more. The first type of angel is your guardian angel. Now this is a being that helps guide and is assigned to you at birth. And there are, I believe there are three aspects of that angel, which is physical, emotional, and intellectual. And the guardian angel, you have a guardian angel and then you essentially have three other angels that impart wisdom with the physical, emotional, and intellectual side of yourself sides of you the next one is or the next three all deal with your natal chart so your natal moon angel that deals with your emotions and how you express your feelings that's the angel that is controlling of that your sun angel that is like the vital force that drives you and helps you seek the highest expression of yourself basically your true self your rising angel this indicates like how outside how the outside people how other people see you and perceive who you are and then there's also an angel that rules the day you were born so everyone has a specific day they were born yes it changes throughout the years but sometimes people were turning up on a tuesday i was turning up on a tuesday when i was born so there are some angels that do control certain days of the week Next, you have your soul angel. This one imparts divine light and helps you lift your soul to higher planes. Your moral angel leads you on the path of virtue and helps you communicate with people in general. And then there's your mortal angel. This is the one that helps you with your action, like how you navigate and how you walk throughout the earth. Now, what do you need to find your angel? You need to know the time the date, yeah, you need to know the time and the date you are born. So all you girls and all of you ladies who are interested in your moon, sun, rising sign, you would need to know the time that you were born. Now there are 
some ways you can use a pendulum to figure out the time that you were born. I don't know how well that works. I'm very skeptical, skeptical about how that works, but you can try it. I'll have some links down below for you to figure that out if you don't know the time you were born. Now, there are three locations that you can go to to find your angels. The first one is the UMC Center, which is Teaching and Researching Center, and you can find your birth angels there. This used all 72 angels. The next one is the is the is Ariel Getoga. I love his resources. I love all the angel magic that he talks about. I don't believe he uses all 72 angels, but he uses a lot of them. And he focuses on your birth angel, specifically the angel that corresponds with your moon sign. So whatever your moon sign is, that's the angel that is going to mostly be working with you. And the third one is Travis McHenry. He has a grimoire of heaven and hell, and he includes all 72 angels as well as the 72 servant demons. I'm not going to talk about demons in this video, but just because he's a servant or they're servant demons does not mean you need to be an asshole to those demons, okay? Don't be an asshole to angels. Don't be an asshole to demons, okay? Don't. Respect all the way through, okay? Respect. But the one thing that I sort of dislike about this one is that if you were born between March 14th and March 20th, and if you were born on a leap year, your three angels are going to correspond with the time you were born. So it doesn't matter what, obviously it doesn't matter what birthday it is because it doesn't include March 14th through the 20th. It don't include me. <laughs> But if your birthday is, doesn't fall any in any of those things, you will get three angels. If it does, your soul, what is it? Your soul, moral, and your mortal angel would be one angel. Now, I was born on March 17th. So clearly, I don't get to have like the three different angels, according to Travis McHenry. But I do did compare all of my angels with all three with all three methods and some did overlap. So my guardian angel is Mamiya. Mamaya, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Mamaya. And this angel is the 70 this is angel is 72. This is the 70 This is the 72nd angel. My moon angel is Raphael. I love working with Raphael. Every time I listen to Raphael music, when I do tarot cards, sometimes his card does come up in a reading that I'm doing for myself, so I know that he's around. I work with Raphael. That's my moon angel. And my soul, mortal, and moral angel, as well as my emotional and my intellectual angel, all five of those put together is the 69th angel, which is Rochelle. Rochelle? I always try to pronounce things like in Hebrew terms, but I think it's Rochelle or Rochelle. And that one, the 69th angel, that one came up the most. So those are my three angels that I am wishing to work with and wishing to hang out with and incorporate in my daily life and that is how you find your own angel thank you guys for watching comment subscribe do all that fun stuff and next time i will be telling you how i'm going to be working with all three of my angels specifically my altar that i'm planning on setting up and stuff like that so again thank you for watching come back later and i will chat with you soon bye